Okay, take a look at our perfect geometric egg-shaped void here. Now the magnet was hanging lower than this, so it's off now because when I yanked it out, the string that it's attached to yanked the magnet up. Look at the center void here. Perfect, not close, not kind of close, absolutely perfect geometric egg-shaped void. Now, this is how nature quote-unquote sees magnetism. Now, remember this is not a magnet, even though it is a powerful N55 magnet, but the magnet is mostly a dielectricity. 3.23 parts dielectricity to one part magnetism. As I state in the book, a true magnet is a dielectric object. Now, if this magnet were hanging where it was before I yanked it out here, it was hanging about yay low, that you have a spatial void of phi and a spatial void of one up here. This is nature's way of seeing, quote unquote, for lack of a better term, but I will explain fully in the book, seeing magnetism. Look at this is a perfect, absolutely perfect geometric egg. I performed this experiment over and over again, however this is the first time I've done it with distilled water, which I knew I'd get better, clearer results. You can see we have a perfect geometric egg. Absolutely 100% perfect. Let me rotate it where you can see it best. Here you go, you can kind of see it best here. What your brain and what your nervous system operate on are not electrical. They are in a sense, but they are nature's electricity. They're dielectric. Lightning, everything that the plants have, everything that your brain and your nervous system operates on is dielectric, not electric. Okay, someone asked, so what's ultimately the difference between dielectricity and electricity? I said, well, about the best simple analogy that they could think of to tell you is that dielectricity or nature's electricity is like sugar cane and electricity, which is synthetically created from magnetism and dielectricity, is like saccharin or sweet and low, a synthetic byproduct. Why does nature see magnetism like this in any testing media? see uh, magnetism as perfectly symmetrical and charged. So you will have to read the, the third edition upcoming of the book Uncovering the Missing Secrets of Magnetism to understand why.